Many children with language impairment have difficulties learning to read, as do children with dyslexia. In fact, for children with SLI, their difficulties in reading often come to light before their language difficulties are investigated. Here I'm going to try and tell you a little bit about the causes of reading difficulties in SLI and how they link to their spoken language problems. First of all, why should a spoken language difficulty cause problems for learning to read? On the face of it, reading is a visual process. Children might recognise the patterns of words, and that's how they learn to read. But actually, this isn't the case. Fundamentally, learning to read depends upon spoken language skills. In order to understand this, you have to know a little bit about the process of learning to read. English is an alphabetic language, and what that means is that the letters in printed words link to the sounds in spoken words. So in order to learn to read, you have to understand these relationships. You have to understand first that letters can be seen individually in printed words and also that they link up to the sounds in spoken words. So for example, a child must know that a word like man and map both start with the sound m. Mm. They need to know that chip and rich also both contain the same sound ch at the beginning in, in chip and at the end in rich. This is quite a challenge for any child learning to read, but particularly difficulty for children with language impairments. They might first of all have difficulties in learning letter sounds, and they might also have difficulties in hearing the individual letter sounds, and they might have difficulties putting them together or blending, for example, knowing that the and t make bat. If children have these sorts of difficulties and they don't, if you like, crack the code, then this will create huge problems when they encounter words they haven't seen before and will disrupt the process of learning to read. Now, most children with SI also have difficulties with spelling. Spelling, on the, on the face of it, seems like the opposite of reading, but actually it involves more complex processes. In order to spell, you have to think about the individual sounds in, in a word and pull them apart. You have to then hold them in memory whilst you write the letters. So take a simple word like cat. You first of all have to think of the first sound, k, write it down. Then think back to memory, what's the next sound, a, write it down. Then go back again to memory, what's the last sound, t, and write it down. This process is very demanding of verbal memory, and this is another area of difficulty for children with SLI. In summary then, children with SLI have difficulties in learning to read that are associated with their underlying spoken language difficulties. And this can create huge problems for them in the school environment. As soon as a child's reading difficulty comes to light, it's very important that literacy support is put in place. Your child's teacher or special needs coordinator will be able to advise as to the kinds of support that are available in your child's school. For some children with language impairment, the input of a speech and language therapist to the intervention programme will also be helpful. In another clip, we will be discussing what to do to help children learn to read.